the greatest WWE Intercontinental Champion of all time, is back. You're listening to the Honky Tonk Man. Shake, rattle, and roll. Shake, rattle, and roll. Welcome back to Shake, Rattle, and Roll, fans. So, champ, the news hitting everywhere this week is uh, WWE are in talks with one Hulk Hogan. Yes, yes, that's what I understand, and uh, what those talks have been going on for a long, long time, we all know that. Uh, I, I'm glad to hear it. I really am. I, I think I think the Hulkster needs to be back. He needs to be back in WWE. He needs to be back doing something. Uh, you know, he's not going to be a uh, in-the-ring personality anymore, and uh, uh, the greatest, one of the greatest experiences I've had in the last several years was last year at, at WrestleMania, and I... I was with Bushwhacker, and we were driving along, and I said, uh, where's the, the new Hogan Beach shop here in, in Orlando? And he said, oh, it's right there, on, and there it was on the corner. And I said, I'm going to go, I'm going to stop in there. Oh, no, no, mate, no, 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 you can't just drop in there, mate. I said, look, pull in the pull in the parking lot. He was driving. I said, pull in the parking lot and let me out if you don't want to go in. Oh, no, mate, I can't do that. I said, okay, then park at the hotel. It was only a short distance. I said, I'm going to walk up there. Cause I'm going in and I'm going to see Hogan. And, uh, he said, well, okay. Okay. And he was apprehensive. Why these people want to do this and protect Hogan. I don't know. I really don't know. But anyway, I, I, he had some people and, and they in the store and had a lot of people lined up. I mean, they were lined up around the corner for this guy. And I, I just walked right in the store and he looked at me, his eyes were big and wide open like uh oh what's gonna happen and i smiled and he smiled and we had a big hug and it's closed the store down left everyone outside in a 90 degree weather for about 30 minutes while him and i just reminisced and talked had fun you know as, as like the good old days and no matter what anybody says and what i've said we've had issues i've had issues with a lot of people but uh you know there's no divorce or no bridge that gets burned that can't be remended and there's no divorce that you can't get remarried and uh uh you know uh, we since we were on the the air the last time same thing with the with my cousin Jerry uh I met Jerry over at the uh Comic Con in Sacramento a couple of years ago the two days went by we didn't talk to each other and on the third day I felt someone tap me on my shoulder and I knew it was him and I turned around and there it was and we talked and reminisced a big hug and we we're fine. I mean, gosh, it's the entertainment business. We all say and do a lot of silly nonsense, and which brings me to this Mark Henry. Now I like Mark. Mark's a great guy. He's going to the Hall of Fame. Uh, uh, a little bit, you know. I never liked this. Retire from WWE one day, get in the Hall of Fame the next. That's I don't like that idea. I think there should be like a waiting period and everything. But Mark's going in the Hall of Fame. But he had mentioned that he's not sure if he would welcome Hogan back. Now, to this, I say, Mark, I know you might not like a lot of things that happen in this world, but, you know, by the same token, have you forgotten that uh, Michael Hayes, you know, he got put on probation. He got reprimanded by for saying something, you know, that was out of line, and you took issue with it many, many years ago. So, but he's there, and he's he's been there the whole time, and uh, and – Come on. You know, things happen in the heat of the moment, and I don't think it's – if Mark wants to express his opinion about it, he can, but my opinion is I don't see anything wrong with Hook going back in WWE. So if you were WWE, how would you bring him back? He would have to do some kind of an ambassador role or or something. I, I don't think Hook can – can be there and appear on camera every Monday night. It has to be, I think it has to be special occasions for him. And I think that's what he'd like to do. I don't think he wants to sit home and watch raw every Monday night. I think he would like to be part of it. I think he'd like to be part of the WrestleMania and he deserves to be part of it. He's, he's the biggest name in our business. And I've said this before, he's the Muhammad Ali. He's the tiger woods. Uh, I, I mean, he is the guy in, in our business and he always will be that guy. There's been a lot of guys. It's, come before him and a lot of guys that came after him but they're not Hulk Hogan and and that's how I feel about that and uh which brings me to a funny story that I tell on the comedy show I won't give it all out now but the fact that Hogan can uh <laughs> I mean he, he 
he can get in a bed with another man's wife and make money out of it. I probably would have got killed or shot. Now they're trying to kick President Trump out of office because he had consensual uh, uh, activity with some some grown up women. So I mean, come on, man. <laughs> when he when he wasn't even president, ridiculous. Exactly. So yeah. So I mean, uh, we all do a lot of things we're not proud of, but uh, I mean, Dad Gum Hogan made about fifty million dollars for that deal. I would have got killed. <laughs> Turn my music on! 